that influence our city, our community, and our state. Today I'm honored to have my friend, friend of this chamber, Mayor John Lee, Mayor of North Las Vegas. Many of you know him and you're about to get to know him a little bit better. Mayor? Buenos dias. There you go. <laughs> Where would you rather be right now? Uh, here. I actually, I'm in, I'm in the community I love. I'm excited to be here with my great friend and I want to support you. So tell us a little bit about yourself. I want to know how you got it to Nevada and the journey. Ah, my dad was in the Air Force. We were in England. He worked for a gentleman named Francis Gary Powers who was on the U-2 program for the military because my dad was in the Air Force. And when he got shot down over the Soviet Union, uh, America disavowed. They knew what that airplane was. It was a spy plane. And so then we got sent to Roswell, New Mexico and from Roswell wow. to Area 51. So my dad was kind of like in the spy world a little bit. So there really is an Area 51? Well, it's actually a cover for Area 52. No one knows about <laughs> Area 52. I like that. <laughs> Who's, you spoke about your father. Who's had the greatest influence on you personally uh, and career-wise? My mother. I don't think people, boys, understand the impact that their mother has on them. I think that they, they understand their father, they follow their father's leads a lot of things, but their mother has more of an impact on it. My mother had the greatest impact on me than any other human ever has ever had on me. Wow, and that, that influenced your career as well? Well, see, I mean, Cubs, Scouts, and boys. You know, I came from a family a lot of drugs. Um, I got drugged to church, I got drugged to Boy Scouts, got drugged to school, but it was always my mother making sure these things happen for me. So mothers, if you're out there, keep dragging your sons along. They'll, they'll thank you someday for it. Wow, oh, that's powerful. John, there's no question about it. You've done a lot for North Las Vegas. I don't know anybody who advocates harder, works harder, rolls up the sleeves. I mean, I've seen you in a lot of different areas <laughs> really doing it, okay? And I, and I certainly appreciate that. But tell us about your journey to become mayor. Well, I was uh, in the state assembly for six years and then state senator for eight years. And I thought after 14 years, I'd done enough public service. But I grew up in North Las Vegas and North Las Vegas was going under. We were gonna lose our charter. They were gonna, the city was gonna take right. half of it of Las Vegas. County was gonna take the other half, no more North Las Vegas. Uh, Peter, such as you, I couldn't let my hometown die. I couldn't let my school die, my Boy Scout troop, my church. Anything that means a lot to me is worth fighting for. And I knew there was others who felt the same way I did, but yet I'd had a lot of experience and knew a lot of context, people such as you, influencers in the community, and thought if anybody can do that, it was me. And so we were $156 million in debt. Today, we're, uh, we're out of debt. We have a balanced budget. We've, uh, our bond level dropped 18 levels. Right. Now we're investment grade. We're running a great business over there, but I run it like a business. I don't run it like a local government. I'm building a, a city. I'm not just maintaining a city. So it's gonna be four years from now, the next mayor and the next mayor is gonna think this is the greatest gig in the world. But the strip will always ha be in Clark County, uh, that, that government. Fremont Street will always be in Las Vegas with that former government. Those are the boutiques, Peter. That's why people come here to see Las Vegas. But North Las Vegas will be the breadbasket for this area. More new money will be made in North Las Vegas than anywhere else in this valley. I'm excited to be the mayor of North Las Vegas. More with the mayor of North Las Vegas in a moment. <laughs> Today with the mayor of North Las Vegas. About North Las Vegas, tell us about the mayor, what the mayor does that people might not even know about. Ah, that's a great question. I thought about that for a long period of time because people look at the mayor with a storm, sort of reverence. They don't know what the mayor is, but they know he's important. And I thought, what is it about this job that I should understand? And you know what I came down to, Peter, in my own little mind? I offer comfort to people. They go to work, they come home, there's a police department takes care of them, there's a fire department, there's a library, there's a senior center, there's something, a park, Craig Ranch or something, I offer them comfort. Now they might not use all the comforts I offer, but their tax dollars give them the opportunity to have those comforts. Now I offer comfort, but I don't give comfort. The, the give comfort part is that man or woman who jumps off the fire truck carrying that hose to put out the fire at your house, that police officer who's checking outside your house with a flashlight, they give comfort. But as mayor, I offer comfort to the residents of North Las Vegas, and we're doing a great job. Everything's up and running, the libraries are doing great. The comfort level in North Las Vegas is extremely high right now. 
The one area we've been lacking is a lot of restaurants. And so I've got, coming up Craig Road now, I've got a Texas Roadhouse Grill, I've got a Bay's Pizza, I've got a Cafe Rio, we've got a Golden Corral looking at us. Right. We've got a lot of stuff that's in the restaurant realm. And that's all economic development. Oh, it is, yeah. So I, I'm offering the comfort of, the, of, of what I can offer to the city in amenities such as that. Tell us how the mayor's office helps small business. Like, what can you do yeah. for them? We streamline all business licensing processes. We mm -hmm. do a lot of great things. Uh, concerning you, Councilman Isaac Brown has put together business seminars to teach small business owners how to get a business started in North Las Vegas and how to navigate through the city count or city uh, business licenses and stuff like that. So we actually reach out and we're looking forward. We understand that the strength of any community is going to be the, the business owners. And the second one is, I don't believe great schools make great cities. Great cities such as New York, Los Angeles, Detroit, Washington, D.C., great cities, bad school districts. I do believe great schools can make great communities, though. And so we are doing a lot of great things yeah. in education so that the residents of our community, they can go to charter school, they can go to a Catholic school, they can go to a regular public school system like I went to at Rancho High School. We're offering every kind of education opportunity we can to parents to make a choice. So those are the things that we're doing to help small businesses, to get them where they have a good school system for their, their children and an environment where they can succeed. And how can the small business community take more advantage of your office and, and really City Hall? Well, the way they can win is by following me. And when I bring in these big companies, these big companies need to have local people supply other products to them. You know, A lot of times if it's an, an auto manufacturer, well, he needs companies to come to him that build seats for cars or bumpers and stuff. But a lot of these other businesses we're bringing in here, uh, they're going to need the services, these small businesses. And the small businesses can reach out to us and go, what new businesses are coming to town? I'd like to offer my services to them, and we'll give them a list. They can go knock on the door and say, I want to do your gardening. I want to do your uh, your paper towels. I want to, you know, whatever you need. We have it here in North Las Vegas. I want those jobs to go to North Las Vegas businesses. So they can contact the city, and we can give them some leads. Excellent. We'll be back with Mayor Lee in a moment. Welcome back to Influencers. New initiatives. Tell us what plans you can share with us. I know you like to keep a lot of plans under wrap, but share yeah. with us. There's things called uh, non-disclosure statements. I can't tell what's coming in. We just got our fourth Amazon building here. It's 800,000 square foot first floor, but it's actually three floors of that size. The top two floors are robotics. It's gonna be wow. huge for, for opportunities in North Las Vegas for people to have jobs. And we're excited about it. another company. I have not known this company, Peter. It's in ladies' uh, um, cosmetics and stuff. It's called Sephora. They're oh, here. They're big. They're here, and they're they're getting ready to start their building. Um, we're just punching a water line out to Apex right now out there. That eighteen thousand acres out there. Apex with water changes everything. Oh, it does, Peter. We've got thirty-two thousand five hundred acre foot of water dead end into the pipe across the street from the Speedway at Mannheim's. We are now pushing that water out to the north part of our city. That's gonna be huge. And then where Tropical meets I-15, 215, that intersection, we're building a road now. We brought all the sewer up. There's 1,100 acres in there right now that are under development. Only 200 acres haven't started doing any kind of uh, plans and stuff like that. So we are exploding this economy. Wow. My goal, Peter, is to diversify the incomes of the families in North Las Vegas. So no longer does your wife work at Caesars Palace dealing cards and you're working at another hotel in engineering and then an airplane hits a building, we both lose our jobs, we both lose our houses. You know, we just, it's tough. If I can get maybe him or her out working at Apex, building something that gets sent somewhere else across the world, and the other person stays downtown working, hotel, gaming, and hospitality, I'm fine with that. But I don't want them both in the same industry in the future if I can help it. You understand that that's amazing to hear you speak that way. I mean, that you're putting that much thought into it and that much vision. Yeah. That's incredible. Well, and the other thing is I want to raise the property values. So the number two form of savings in America for retirement is equity in your home. And you know you're a realtor, of one of the best in the valley. So if somebody sells a home and they got two or $300,000 in equity, what does that do at retirement for you? So 
jobs, equity, opportunities, North Las Vegas is a place to be. That's called success, my friend. <laughs> How much impact is the new businesses having in your city? Uh, Both have, positive and negative yeah, growth. We're, yeah, we're becoming a recognizable national city now because of what we're doing. If you look at where uh, North Las Vegas is between Colorado and Idaho and Arizona and California, we're a hub. And so a lot of great things are happening because of just the location, Peter. Right. So it's, it's, this is great for Southern Nevada. You know, I'm off, often curious, especially with North Las Vegas, how much interaction happens between you and the governor's office, maybe even you with the governor. Yeah. Is he aware of North Las Vegas? Uh, yeah, he is. Um, he has an office of uh, economic development, GOED, and they're assigned to kind of do some work. We got the uh, uh, another organization here that uh, Las Vegas Global Alliance, Economic Alliance, yeah. that w works with us. We have all the help we need from Carson City. We don't really need any more. We just got to make sure that the southern part of the state gets the benefits of the taxes that we raise here, you know, and things like that. More with the mayor of North Las Vegas in a moment. Hello, welcome back with Mayor John Lee, mayor of North Las Vegas. Mayor, tell us how the Hispanic community has benefited from the work being done at the mayor's office and in the city of North Las Vegas. Well, first off, Councilman Isaac Brown is incredible. He's an incredible person. He's brought more culture and more art uh, to our city. He's doing a lot of stuff downtown that's gonna take place. Uh, there are a lot of Hispanics that live down there. It's wonderful. But the thing that we're gonna do that I'm excited about, Henderson has the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Las Vegas has Martin Luther King and the Hell Roller Parade. We're gonna own Cinco de Mayo. We're gonna own two times a year, huge things. This year we had a parade. We had com people come in from California wow. and they brought all their headgear and all yeah. the wonderful things that make the culture especially fun to do, be around. And we had a, 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 a thing at the park. We're gonna own in the Southwest. We are going to do more for the Hispanic Cinco de Mayo than anywhere else in this country. We're excited about it. We're celebrating our diversity. That's uh, great to hear, and you know, of course, we're always right there with you, so the Latin yeah. Chamber will be helping you whenever we can. I'm excited, I appreciate yeah. you. How can the Hispanic business community take more advantage of your office? We run our city hall like a business. You're doing business with another business. We're not in position just to try to catch you at something. We want you to come in and let us show you how to do it, and let us help you become legal, let us support our local businesses. When people come in and want to see me, I say, here's our local businesses right here. Um, s people are scared of government anymore, but they shouldn't be as scared of the North Las Vegas City Hall. That's where their energy should be coming from as we expand our, uh, our business community. So I welcome them in. Peter, if you want to throw an event there and have a bunch of business leaders come in, I'll open up City Hall and I'll bring in all my directors and they can ask questions and learn. We'll do a special uh, Hispanic Chamber of Commerce Day for you. And I you. know you mean that too. Yeah, we will do it, we promise you. Mayor, what's the future? The future North is Las Vegas. bright. Set some goals, make some plans, get excited about something again. Uh, whether it's donate more to your church, if it's you know spend time with your family, just don't let all this national crap get to you. Just enjoy your life, you know, and be a participant in life. I think the future is great in our community here, and especially in North Las Vegas. You think uh, city of North Las Vegas is Hispanic friendly? Oh my gosh, we are 75% uh, of the people in, in Isaac's uh, council district are Hispanic. Everywhere you look on every neighborhood, there's diversity. We celebrate our diversity. We don't wanna be Red Rock Country Club. We don't wanna be Henderson. We don't wanna be Las Vegas. We like being us. If a dog's running down the road, we don't think it has rabies. We don't care where that dog came from, <laughs> where it's going, it's just a dog running in the street. Of course. But other communities, oh my, that's dangerous. Her kids riding their bicycles. Oh, there's a kid riding his bike without his mom watching. You know, this isn't like that here. We, we get along well, we watch out for each other, and uh, we offer an opportunity to enjoy your life without a lot of restrictions. So we're happy. Yeah. So lastly, um, you know, I, I know you. I think I like to know, say I know you very well. Yeah. You're a friend. Uh, I know your faith. I know your desire to serve. So what's your future? Um, I want to quit 
in three years. I don't want to be the mayor anymore. I think my goal was to come in and fix it and, and then pass a baton on to someone else. Thereafter that, I think I want to do a, a mission for my church or do something else with what uh, active years I still have. I'm not ready to go retire and hide in the Rocky Mountains. I mean, I still have a heartbeat. There's something about Las Vegas that excites me. I think I'll always be involved somewhere. But Peter, standing up next to you, doing good for our community. That's what I want to do. I want to thank Mayor John Lee for joining me today. He's a great friend, great friend of the community and, and doing great things in North Las Vegas. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Influencers. Until next time, stay motivated and stay inspired. Music